Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Test Automation Tutorial. Tricentis has released its new product called Tricentis Test Automation and also it is called as TTA. It has been released in January second week by Tricentis. And this is a model based testing in cloud. So basically it's a cloud based tool that we can leverage to automate your applications, web based applications. So this is our first lesson where I'm going to give you an introduction to this new tool called TTA and I'm going to tell you how to register for this new tool called Tricentis Test Automation. Okay, so why SaaS, Software as a Service? So this cloud-based Tricentis Test Automation tool delivers a frictionless access to an UI that helps speed learning and then accelerate your testing. You can access and reuse test sets and build complex multi-app test cases leveraging your team's expertise. Okay, it also simplifies your automation and it accelerates your automation. And then optimized for web application testing because innovation thrives in the cloud. It's where you build your app and connect to your business support systems. Okay, so test your business landscape from custom developed apps to enterprise support services like SAP, Oracle or Workday. So it, you can extend test cases across your entire business process to reduce rollback and downtown, downtime. So here, Tricentis test automation tool it is a cloud based application. You can automate different types of apps like SAP applications, Oracle applications, your web based applications or workday applications, right? I'm going to show you in the upcoming sessions, how can you perform end to end test automation, which includes service level testing and then Salesforce application testing and then SAP application testing and web based application testing. Basically, you can automate your test cases, end to end test case from starting from your services and then transferring the data to Salesforce application. And then you can transfer the data to SAP application and then your web application. So basically, I'm going to show you this end to end flow test case automation by using cloud based Tricentis test automation tool. Okay. And then model based testing. So why does Tricentis selected model based testing? So model based testing decouples the technical layer of the application from the automation model. And it's simplifying the test creation, improving the resilience and reducing the maintenance. Okay, if you see on the screen right side, it is a model based testing. That's why you can see the visual representation. You can basically drag and drop your controls from your modules that you have scanned. Okay, so it's a very nice UI based interface you have for this cloud based application. And then models from the building blocks of your test cases. So basically, Models are the form of building blocks of your test cases. So they make object identification clear and unique. So you can insert variables and recall them later for your verifications, right? And most importantly, you can build a library of test steps and your reusable test blocks that you can reuse across test cases. 
So this is what a model based testing and this new Tricentis test automation cloud based tool satisfies this model based testing or it utilizes model based testing and it simplifies your test automation. And then registration. So how can you register to this new Tricentis test automation tool? So if you on this, if you see on the screen, there is a link. I'm going to paste that link in the description. You can use that link to register for a free trial. Okay. So if you see on the screen, right, you need to enter very basic details like your organization email, first name, last name, and then a small details. And then you can register for your uh, cloud based application. So once you fill up that particular form and click on register, you are going to receive an email to your email ID that you have provided while registering the account. Okay. So once you receive that email, I'm going to show you anyway, we are going to jump onto this uh, system and I'm going to show you end to end process. Okay. So once you click on register, so you will receive an email and in the email, you need to verify your email by clicking on the link. So as soon as you click on the link, it will ask you to provide your organization name. You need to create your organization. So once you provide your organization name and then click on continue or click on create, what it will do, it's going to create, I mean, it's going to generate another email with your account URL. So basically that URL contains your organization and the followed by the Tricentis URL. Okay. It gives you a unique organization email ID, sorry, uh, URL with your username and temporary password. Okay. So you need to basically click on go to Tricentis test automation button. If you see on the screen. So as soon as you click on go to Tricentis test automation, it will take you to the cloud based application. So this is where you can simply provide you as a username and temporary password. And then you will log into your new Tricentis test automation cloud based tool. Now you can start creating your test cases. So now let's jump onto the system and let me show you the registration process by using my organization. Okay, so this is the URL that you need to use. As soon as you enter the URL, it is going to ask you to provide your business email, your first name, last name, and then what is your country and then phone number. And you need to provide your company name as well. And then select the role that you are playing in the company and agree to the terms and conditions and click on register trial or request trial. So as soon as you click on request trial, you are going to receive an email to confirm the email ID, right? So you need to click on verify email address button. As soon as you click on verify email button, it will take you to one of the screen where you are going to provide your, uh, let me zoom in. Okay. So where you, you are going to provide your organization name. So basically you need to create your cloud organization, right? So there you will be providing your company name and then name of the cloud organization. So you can directly provide your company name and your name of the cloud organization might be the same or you can put your own organization cloud name, right? And then you need to click on continue. Okay. What it will do, it is going to generate another email. Okay. Where it is going to give you an account URL, unique account URL based on the organization cloud name what you provided 
in the above screen right and then it is going to give you the username and it is going to provide you a temporary password so from the email you need to click on go to tricentis test organization so as soon as you as soon as you click on go to tricentis test organization you are going to land on to your cloud tricentis test automation cloud based tool okay so now let me show you how does this new tool looks like okay so once you complete your registration process you need to log in by using your organization url that is created by tricent test automation and then you need to provide your username and the password that you have created while registering to the service okay so once you log in you will be landing on to your home page okay let me quickly walk through this particular home page okay so you can basically if you see on this home screen you can simply first what is to set up your testing mission right first you need to download the launcher okay anyway that we are going to do at end of this session okay and then you can edit your test cases by going to test case section and you can run your test cases by opening playlist and you can review and progress results by viewing your test runs and then you can simulate a service by creating simulation and then you can invite your teammates so that you can do collaborative work okay and if you scroll down you can go to your documentation where it explains you how can you get started and how can you set up your mission how can you create a test case and how can you run a test case and how to perform simulation of your services and your frequently asked questions okay so these are all the documentation that is already readily available in tricentis help center for test automation okay so now let me walk you through the this cloud based test automation tool okay so that is your home section and there is next section that is test case section this test case section is where you are going to start creating your test cases that means you will be creating your test cases and then you are going to automate your test cases and our next section is builder okay this is where you will be building a new test case and scan the application under test to create your modules and then drag the modules and other building blocks to the area below that means this is a visual representation where you can arrange your sequence of the steps while automating your test cases okay by using builder builder is a very important component for automating your test cases and you can also use your predefined actions and the modules that you have created right and you can also use shared actions okay i'm going to teach you about all these things in the upcoming sessions okay and then your simulations this is another section where simulations mocks your real services when offline broken or not built yet that means if you want to simulate your services you can simulate by using create simulation file okay and a next section is playlists okay where playlists are the collections of the test cases prepared to be run together so here in this section you will be adding your test cases to your playlist to run them easily and next section is agents okay and this is where you will be creating agents so agents are programs that runs your test cases to get an agent you have to first install the launcher it will download an agent automatically okay so i'm going to install the launcher launcher at end of this session okay 
and then simulators so simulation agents host your virtual services and it runs your api calls okay and then the last section is runs okay so run your first test okay in this particular this is where we run your test but when you start a run you will see the progress and your test results in this section okay so now before we actually start creating any test case the main prerequisite is to install your launcher how on top right side you have a downloads button here click on downloads and here launcher installer so you need to download your launcher installer click on download as soon as you click on download it will ask you to download the launcher save the launcher and once this launcher is downloaded you need to run this .exe file double click on this and then installing the launcher okay that will install your launcher okay while installing your launcher it opens some command prompts right and then see thanks for installing the launchers press any key to close this window okay so basically you have completed launching your installer sometimes what happens it might also prompt you to install some microsoft components okay so in my machine my microsoft components are already existing so i have completed installing my launcher so once you complete installing your launcher okay you can just go back to your tricentis test automation cloud based application okay so our prerequisite is done now we can start automating your test cases and you can start scanning your modules by using xscan okay so i'm going to continue the test case automation concepts in my next sessions okay if you have any queries leave your comments in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you hope you all understand the concept of the new tool cloud based tool called tricentis test automation tta so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i upload more videos thank you